What's up everyone? Today I am going to be playing Elsword, the game my channel is basically based off of. Uh, I'm going to be playing as Lily One, my most overpowered character. She's actually my first character in this game. And I'm going to be doing the dungeon of Phantom Whatever this is, the mermaid. I'm going to be doing it solo. So I'm probably gonna die. I've never done it solo. I've always done it playing with someone. Well, let's get started and see what happens. This game is an online game, if none of you already know that. Uh, made by COG, COG Studios. Very fun game. Well, COG, I don't know if it's COG Studios, but made by COG. <laughs> Ugh. Give myself that critical boost, mana. And let's get to it. Everyone says CN's a bad character, but you know what? If you balance her out right, she's actually pretty fun to play as. She has very tactical stuff, and she's actually getting updates soon. Gonna be fun. I think like in the new updates you'll be able to do stuff similar to CE. Not when it comes to the summonings, but just when it comes to the simple sky attacks. Like right now she can only do that. And that. I think she's like gonna get something more than that soon. Waste of a move. Oh well. In hindsight, I probably should have brought my black hole instead of uh my hyperactive. Stan's hyperactive is fairly weak, which is sad. Uh, it's kind of sad that her hyperactive is that is weak. Like it's flashy and beautiful to look at, but when it comes down to it, it doesn't do a lot. Ah, oh, jerk. There you get a robot. In my personal opinion, CN is very overpowered. Like I put, I fight my friends uh, MF2K and Ghost Pro, Ghost Pro 20, and Ghost Pro 20 is a Blade Master. MF15, well, 2K is a uh, Mastermind, and I normally am the one who comes out on top of those fights. And they're really good players too. So I mean. And they even say that my character's broken. But I don't see it. Like, well, actually, I do see it. Because I make her broken. And it's just hard for all the disrespect that CN gets. Like, people think, oh, it's a CN, they're not going to be able to do anything. But nah, CN's pretty good. Yeah, some of her moves don't catch perfectly, but it's a good character to play as. I recommend this Eve for anyone who wants to make an Eve and is just like, hey, I want to be good in PvP because the other Eves, they're, they're amazing in PvP, but there's no challenge to them. Like, CE, you can just call out your summonings and just keep hitting and the summonings will do everything. 
especially with that pass that they have that I'll show in another video that basically makes to where the summonings do the same amount of damage as you. If you do a ton of damage, that's bad for everyone else. In CBS, all you have to do is activate homing code and go at it. And she has that flashbang move where it makes it where you can't see. Like, that's broken. See it? Oh, and if you do make a CN, do not take her into a 2v2. She will get wrecked. She's meant for 1v1. A 1v1 is literally what she is best for. Like every time I try to take her into 2v2, I normally am the one who ends up getting killed. And then the guy I'm working with, unless it's a friend, is like, oh, why didn't you do anything? So, you know what? 1v1 everything. stuff from that drop. Gonna have to get that once I'm done here. Let me go ahead and take this time to reflect that. Sorry for this. Gotta reflect it. You know, I forget it. I'm just gonna drop this meat. I'm not gonna use it. Hmm. Okay, back to back to what I was doing. Oh, this goes for in any dungeon. Do not let yourself get cornered by more than one monster. If you do, it doesn't matter how good of a player you are, you will die. Or you will have to mana break. Because when you get cornered, the monsters just start doing instant moves on you. And they don't drop combos. Like, they just keep going at it. And they will not drop you. The only way you would be getting out of that is if you personally mana break or something. Stupid mermaid, so irritating. Dang it. That's the one thing I don't like about the mermaid monsters in this game. That stupid, uh, what's it called? Explosion effect they have. That move right there took me forever to do the skill quest for. But you know, it was so much wor so worth it when I finally got it. So I don't even care. It was so worth it when I finally got that. It was like one of my best moves. I thought it was gonna be weak, but no. That move was amazing. And it doesn't do quite as much in non in just regular just firing it off. So the best thing to do is at least have at least one uh, awakening bead and then fire it off because it does du it does double the damage. And it's a good mob clear move or a deleter if you want to call it that.
along with the Soul Spear, that's a good move too for dungeons. For PvP, I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend Iron Scraps. See, see, this is gonna be irritating. Gotta get rid of them. Yeah, this is going to be irritating. Yeah, that's what's bad right here. I'm using all my uh, PvP. I'm using my dungeon skill set, but my PvP moves. Just can't get out of that nature of PvP. Oh, you bitch. Alright. See, look at that. Look at that damage. Sonic Gun does not do as much as the other one, but the reason it's better because say you're in awakening if one of those needle if one of those even sonic bullets hit it does damage or it cause the laser to go off See, look at that. So much damage, that laser. What am I doing? I almost walked out of a heel. Alright, let's go take this boss on. I'm hoping I don't have to, I don't die from this, because I've seen what she can do, and I know what she's capable of, so I just hope I don't die from her. Like, I'm gonna try to make that personal goal here, to fight her and not go down. So let's just see what happens. Yeah, that chick. She is hard to beat later on. You fight her in uh, the dungeons like right after this, the last two. No, no, not the dungeons after this. Uh, there's like the second to last dungeon in the last dungeon you fight them. And they are irritating. Because the dude, he has like some kind of black hole orb and the chick, she has whip blades. I don't want to fire off my hyperactive and then she dodges it. So I'll just use that for now. Oh yeah, with her, do not let her get you in the corner. Or else when she does that bubble move, you can't avoid it. See, this is irritating because when you do this, you have to make sure you watch the ground. Because once you kill a certain amount of them, she does this underwater thing, and you'll see in a few seconds. But if you don't watch out, it will hit you. See, watch her. See, she's doing it now. And if I got hit by that, I'd probably be dead right now. Hyperactive. Well, even my hyperactive is weak. 
I'm probably gonna just not upgrade it. Let me get back. Back, run up, use that crit boost. What's she gonna do? Okay, she's doing that. Assault spear, and boom. Don't you die from this. I mean, really want to go through this fight without dying. Close, and so is she. What's she doing? Okay, she's doing the little queen thing. Here she goes. Where that drill is overpowered. Oh yeah, a good layout for seeing while I'm at it, while I'm playing as her, is always like for her. It's good to have a manic inversion skill noted because with the skill note for manic inversion, it has a 30% chance of not taking mana from, well, not taking HP from you. In, in, in like regular mana conversion, it will take HP from me, no matter what. Alright, time to finish this fight. Alright, went through without dying. Completed my goal. Really wanted all of her amazingness. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So amazing. And then she pulls out a freaking chair. Like really she is so freaking amazing. But you know, let me stop talking. She's just a good character. And I recommend making a CN. Always will recommend that. I'm an Eve player myself. But CN is by far my favorite character out of this whole game. Yeah. By far. This is my guild base, yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone, that was Elsword playthrough of Lily One and doing the mermaid level. I don't even know how to pronounce what it is, but that's the mermaid level. Yeah, so feel free to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. And yeah, bye.